We had Ping about 20 years ago, so it was yesterday and also very long ago and we were young and the city was just changing and there was such a lot of optimism. And the thing about Arts Alive is that it gave you that sense of energy, it gave you that sense that, hey, the city belongs to everybody. We can participate in the city, it's not just for stuffy old people that do formal culture, but that it's part of our lives. I mean, 20 years ago, I was on holiday in Joburg. I didn't even live here at the time. And the, the, level, the energy levels were insane. I'd never experienced anything like it. And I just knew I wanted to, at one point, live in this city. I want to be a part of that. Right here and right now, there's something so special that's happening in this city. It was a time when, you know, South Africa had come out of political, cultural isolation. So there was an excitement, you know, um, embracing the arts, looking at what was exciting within the African continent, the African diaspora. Arts and culture performed an extraordinary role during the apartheid South Africa. Pre-94, the connection to Africa had been made by Arts Alive. Arts Alive started bringing African musicians in pre-94. We had the Johannesburg Biennale pre-94 with artists from the continent and the world coming to celebrate our diversity. And you know, we brought in lots of artists um, that South Africa had never seen, from Manu Dubangu to Salif Keita, you name it, Baba Mao. And wonderful collaborations, you know, doing lots of performance arts, street theatre, working with groups from Holland, from France, shadow puppets from West Africa, and it was a great moment. I think the thing that uh, got me when I was a little guy, um, and uh, it was before 1994 when Arts Alive was, was going, is that Arts Alive did bring a very strong African element to, uh, to uh, Johannesburg, and it all used to happen at Cybona. Jewel in the crown of Arts Alive is Jazz on the Lake. It has a very interesting history, that event. I mean, it went through a time when there were communities who felt they couldn't be part of it. So it started off very mixed and then it sort of somehow got out of control and then it was pulled back and then the white community appeared to not be interested and, and now it seems to be a Joburg audience. Well, um, the, the first thing is, is Atalab will always for me be attached, I mean it's now 22 years, attached to Joburg. A Joburg jamboree in a way. And I'm always excited when I meet people who tell stories of watching Atalab over the years and memories they have of um, of Arts Alive and, and, and uh, um, old and recent and so for me it's just a thing that is seriously interwoven with the city of Georgia. Oh, 
unexpected faces at certain performances, um, installations, and that's always very rewarding also, that your message has gotten out there and touched people who normally would never come to such a So 20 years ago, we weren't involved in the organization. We were audiences. We were enthusiastic, blue-eyed, cheery-eyed audiences excited about going to sing. And then years later we become involved in it and it's an incredible experience to actually watch something grow and then to actually be part of it. When you see the product on stage, um, you know, on the wall, it's phenomenal. I think the thing is that the behind the scenes is so intense. And when it all comes together on the evening, you're just blown away that the people actually arrive, the musicians come onto the stage, and that the whole thing actually happens. You just can't believe that it's happened. It's like the alchemy of the arts alive, you know, um, animal, beast is, literally a mixture of crazy personalities and it's energies from all over the world. And we're just trying to translate that to a Jehovah's audience. You ready? It's going to be phenomenal. It's always phenomenal. As you know, you come out and you see these artists, you have no idea who they are, but by the time you've left, you're in love. I know when I go and listen to the spoken word and people speak along, they know the words of the poets, they know the people, they interact with it, and you think, wow, it's really worth it. It's just an incredible experience. All the time, you know you're creating something, and you know that, as we said earlier, when you come and you sit down in that audience and the show goes on, just all the heartache is worth it. We choose venues across the city. It's all about access. Arts Alive is about making the arts accessible to as many citizens of Joburg as possible. Tell me brother, have you heard from Johannesburg? So we work across the seven regions of Johannesburg and try and make match the venue with the experience. For the last 20 years, the city has been committed to making it a better place for all the citizens of Joburg. And Arts Alive, all arts, have been a vital part in making that kind of livability possible. And the city has been very committed to putting money and resources and energy into the arts so that the arts is seen as a tool of transformation. It's not just about service delivery, it's not just about infrastructure, but it's about the quality of life. Uh,